everybody, Pat Huntoon here with Tuckney Chunkies, and today I'm going to be making that beautiful foiled heart card that you saw at the beginning of the tutorial, and it's a very simple process. So uh, why don't we take, why don't we begin? We're starting with the transfer, uh, Deco Foil Transfer Gel Duo. This is a substance that you can apply foiled paper with heat or no heat, depending on uh, what you have. If you have a laminator, you can use a laminator. If not, we're applying ours with a big shot. I am starting with this pink piece of paper and this heart, which is called splatter heart. I think you can see it better here. Splatter heart, which is a, um, a new heart from A Colorful Life Designs. And it's a big open heart and it's got splatter along the edges, which will look really great with the foil. So I am going to place this down and I am going to use just a little bit of pixie spray on the back of this. Pixie spray is a low tech repositional adhesive for stencils. So I'm going to put it on and we're going to wait one minute to let it uh, get to its full tackiness and put it down. Okay, so I sprayed the back of this with Pixie Spray. And what Pixie Spray will do is it'll hold it nice and firmly on my cardstock. So I have a piece of paper towel underneath this just to help me with cleanup afterwards. And I am putting this on a piece of pink paper and just pressing it down. Now, I have a piece of paper towel underneath just for easier cleanup. And I'm going to take my Transfer Gel Duo and I'm going to just literally just put it through this big open heart and all the little splatter areas. So I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch it in real time. It's really important for you not to have any holes or areas that aren't covered by the transfer gel duo because if you do um, what will happen is the foil won't hold on to that um, so use more than you think you need this is one of those situations where you, I'm actually telling you to use a lot and the other thing is if you find that you're digging down into the cardstock lift underneath and and create kind of a, a surface that's rounded up arch it a little bit and then that will help you Make sure you get the whole surface. You see how much smoother that is now? Okay, so that's on there very nicely. So what we're going to do is pull off the stencil. Okay, so you can see the heart on there. It's on there nice and thick. That is going to take at least 45 minutes to an hour to dry uh, because I did put quite a bit on there. So I'm going to set that aside and I will come back to you once they're dry and we'll finish these off quickly. So now I've given this um, time to dry, quite a bit of time to dry, actually, and I've cut a piece of raspberry foil. Now, the foil piece I am cutting this from is a four and a quarter inch by uh, 25 feet of foil. That's what's on each of these rolls. This has been used for a while. So each of these actually fit about 50 card fronts, which is quite a bit of uh, square inches there. So what I'm actually doing is I'm taking this and you always put the shiny side, whatever color you want on that to show, you want to have up. So the metallic side up, the raspberry side up. If you have this side up, the silver that's on the back, that's what you're going to see. So you don't want to do that. <clears throat> So when you put these through your Big Shot, you want to use a, a sandwich that you would use for the thinnest of, of wafer dies that you have. So if your top plate has cuts in it, make sure that you take a piece of paper and use it as a shim. Any piece of cardstock that you have and just place it in between. I actually have a thin envelope there. That'll do. And that will keep whatever is cut into your top plate from getting into the foil. That's the reason you do that. So you just roll this through once. Roll it through a second time just because I'm a creature of habit and that's what I do. Or again, you can put this through your laminator. And then I'm just going to take and just give this a little scrub with my fingers. I'm just going to, to uh, push this down with my fingers, burnish it. Okay, so you can see. Let me move the big shot and peel this off the plate. And then peel this off. And you can see our splattered heart. It's pretty cool and it's foiled. And now I could just put my sentiment on top of that. And this time I'm going to be using the Happy Galentine's Day. Okay, to finish this, I'm just going to add one quick little sentiment. I'm going to add SDX206 Happy Galentine's Day. And I'm actually going to be stamping it right onto this. But because it's foil, it's really hard to stamp into foil. You have to use the Stazon ink to do that. 
It's because it stamps into any surface. So what I do when I do something like this is I take a piece of um, acetate. I have these old stamp positioner uh, pieces from years ago that I use, and I actually line it up and I stamp it onto that to see where it's going to stamp onto the piece. Now, I pretty much miss all of the, uh, the foil, which was my intention. So I wanna make sure I leave this in the same spot. Take that out and actually stamp that. Okay, so that's good and stamped. And now all I have to do is mount this, cut it down and mount it, and it is a finished card. So that is our tutorial today for making this cool start. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the Technique Junkies YouTube channel. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye now.